Okay, back to number two. That was a long break. Um, so let's start. Pliny says conchilia. What is conchilia? So they say conchilia is blue. Blue. I checked the Oxford Dictionary. Purple. Um, Wiktionary online. Purple. Every dic- Latin, dic- any dictionary I checked. Conchilia, purple, a form of purple. Conchilia is blue. And who are they quoting? Uh, Professor Samuel Bouchard, a French um, uh, pastor from the 1600s, I believe, who wrote a long article. I said, he says conchilium is blue. Okay, so even though generally in the academic world it doesn't work like that, in other words, we have Eurydice Adairis that, if you see, you know, a Pnei Shua, basically, you're not going to argue with him, but the academics, something from 400 years ago is usually not worth too much because they don't go Eurydice Adairis because... They assume everything has already been, you know, they read whatever they wrote and they slugged it up already. But let's just see. So you check this Mr. Bashar. He, I actually checked it. You know, most people don't get it. Like I said, most people read the contrast and they just believe it. They don't check it. You check it. What does he say? He says there's lots and lots of evidence that conchilium is purple. He brings himself plenty. You know, there's lots of places. Conchilium is mentioned in tens of places to mean purple. It's not, there's, not, there's not a shred of evidence that it's blue. Conchilium sounds like Kalilim. Yeah, it could be. I don't think that's not. Because Kalilim is... There are words like it has... He talks about Kalilim. He has a different word he's comparing it to. Kalala, um, something else. But So there's a different place, Pliny. So so Pliny mentioned Conchilium comes from the Murex. And at a different place, he he um, describes Conchilium. He says Conchilium has three different shades. And what are his three shades? One of the first shade is that of a, um, a mallow. I'm not going the right order. A mallow, which is a, a purple flower. Then he says um, another purple flower called the, I forgot what he calls it, another purple flower. And then the third one is the heliotrope, which if you Google is a purple flower as well. So he compares conchilium to three purple flowers, which is, this is the reason why academically it's accepted that conchilium is purple. So where, what is he saying? He says, however, zokt the galach, steht doch in an andere Platz, the Rebbe Plinius er zokt, not gabe this, he says, He's talking about the heliotrope flower, and he says it's blue. So Pliny had a blue heliotrope. That's a shteda. And so Ebazoi vice the it that the conchilium had three colors. Now you could conchilium might be the, the, a translation of the Muric truncules. In other words, it's not really clear if it's a color. You know, it's, it's conchilium and purpura, two different colors Pliny's dealing with. It's not entirely clear what's what. If they're talking about two different snails, or in each snail he has two different colors, but let's just say conchilium is referring to the Muric truncules. So yeah, you see from there that two of the colors are purple, but the third color is blue. Dice dice, it's blue. Now he himself he contradicts himself because he says he brings so many proofs that it's purple, and he ends up saying that it's a purplish bluish color, which that doesn't really solve anything. But that's what he ends up doing. So so Mr. Bashar himself he doesn't really say it's purple. He says he ends up his mascona is it's purplish blue. But let's just discuss this itself. So now. People, again, are very convinced by this argument because, again, we're used to Yeshiva Sha'ilam learns Gemara, the Chazal, you know, Akash Astire, not a Mishnah. If the Mishnah would tell me it's blue, you're not going to say it's a mistake. Now, we first have to get a general understanding how Pliny worked. Pliny didn't, wasn't, didn't know everything. It's clear, this is agreed by 100% of the historians, that he, he, um, he was malakit from hundreds or if not thousands of different other people. So, if he, all of his stuff are quoting different people. Now, the, to call a heliotrope blue, is very complicated because there's evidence from a different writer of his Kufa, Ovidius. He, he, he writes that a heliotrope was purple. You know, and nowadays heliotropes are all purple, 90%. People say, well, we have a blue heliotrope. Also, we don't know, maybe Pliny was referring to a different flower. So that he calls it blue, so obviously it was blue, which in other words, it's, which is true. You don't know 100% like heliotrope today is the same heliotrope as then. But the heliotrope, which he was referring to, Ovidius, Pashtus, is referring to the same thing. He writes the same the, the same um, description that it it follows the sun. He has an interesting way of describing it. And he says it's purple. So maximum what you're going to say is there were two heliotropes in those days. One was blue, one was purple. So then you have no proof from the Rebbe de Plinius that when he said that the murex dyes heliotrope color, he meant blue because maybe he meant the purple heliotrope. That's first of all. Second of all, if you look online and the, the Tersaeus edition of Pliny where it says heliotrope is blue, they ran at the bottom. It's a Pliny made an error. He was translating from a Greek source. I didn't get which source they're quoting. But basically, there's two words which are very similar. When he quoted it, he wrote blue, but because he misunderstood. It was, they, I, I got the Greek words over here. I, guess, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm supposed to say towards red. It really said towards towards purple. I don't know exactly. But I'll call him. In other words, the idea is that Pliny could be himself didn't even know what Heliotrope was. He quoted different people. So there's no reason to assume that when he was quoting, whoever he was quoting when he described the dyes, 
the way it, the way it dies. There's no reason to assume he was quoting the same. In other words, it's, already, it's not like he himself necessarily knew what heliotrope even was. He quoted people. Thirty volumes later, he could have forgotten. In one place, Pliny writes heliotrope is blue. Not, and it's totally separate. So in the case of the murex, he discusses the colors of the murex. Like I said, he says he gets three different colors. And one of the colors is the color of the heliotrope. So this is their proof. No, this is what they're saying. This is what the contrast are trying to say. You know, that since... So what am I saying? I'm saying, no, I understand that Heliotrope is purple. When he called the Heliotrope blue, he made a mistake. He meant, he didn't, he was, Heliotrope was always purple. And he wrote blue, he was, it was, it was an error, but he himself didn't know, in other words, when he, half of you think the Murex, Terrence says, he, when he wrote the Murex, you don't know if you remember, you don't, and it's 20 volumes apart, he was quoting someone else, he wasn't, I'm saying, he's not a Tana, that's what I'm trying to bring out, that's not the way it works. The Murex, first of all, he didn't necessarily see the Murex, he didn't necessarily see the Murex. Um, oh, was, oh yeah, I'm sure he knew. Yeah, I'm sure he knew. The, so, so the answer is he taka didn't. When he said he was heliotrope, he meant purple. When he said that the murex dies the color of the heliotrope, he meant purple. He also says the heliotrope is blue, but he was quoting two different people. And he, when he wrote that, he wasn't remembering that he wrote somewhere else that the heliotrope is purple. In other words, when he quoted this writer, no, no, one place he writes that the murex dies three. You know, the murex, the murex is purple. This is everyone, everyone. The heli- the, the dyes the color of heliotrope. Another place he says heliotrope is blue. But when he was writing the Murex dyes the heliotrope, he didn't remember that he wrote the heliotrope was blue. He was quoting a writer. This writer wrote, he knew it was purple, and this writer was writing three colors that says it was. Now, how do I know that's true? Because let's just let's take their shot for a second. This is this is this this yeah yeah this is a yeshiv, but this is accepted in the academic world. In other words, this is this is what they say. In other words. This is like I said. You check online per se. The, the translation of Pliny said Pliny made a mistake when he went like when he when he said that heliotrope is blue, and but and the Conchilium everyone translates as purple. This is the accepted translation. No one, like I said, people are using lumdus of Chazal used for Gemara. When it comes to Pliny, this is a fact that he that he could have made errors. Not that I, I'm not saying in other words, it's not based on nothing, but this is not what the, the way they're. They, this is not the way that that that, that you answer it by saying that it must be Conchilium is blue. If there's 20 proofs from all over the Conchilium is not blue, and I'll prove me obey that it's not blue because basically. He describes it that two of them are purple. Now, if you're going to tell me that the third color, he's trying to say, and there's a third color as well. So according to their shot, the third color is what? Blue. A different color entirely. There's no better way to say blue than heliotrope. There's a word for blue. So the word actually was cerulean. That was the word he used when he said the heliotrope is blue. If I were telling you that the color of the murex has three colors, two of them are uh, mallow, purple, sh- uh, a mallow, the other one is called, uh, like I said, I forgot, this in Hebrew it's called a sagal, or sagal, whatever. And then the third one, is, I'm trying to say blue. Oh, it's the color of the phrase, you know, old navy, the bottom of the old navy, you know, Pepsi, in the middle of a Pepsi jar. Say blue, for goodness sake. If you try to describe it as three separate colors, three flowers, that means that there's, he's explaining daka stika minute details. That's pretty obvious from what he's trying to say. He's explaining three flowers. So if two of the flowers are purple, so that's obvious with the proof based on the context that the third one is purple as well. So this is how you work. In other words, if you're not, if you're not working with Chazal, you work with plenty. The way the secular... Um, academics work, that means it's clear from the context that this heliotrope in Pliny is purple. Now you have a kasha, he says somewhere else the heliotrope is blue, that's a kasha of a maisa. So you, I, like I said, he posts 20 different people, he didn't remember, he wasn't a tanner. But that's not the way you do, you don't just come and say, you don't just change the facts, that if there's 400 proofs all over Conchilium is purple, it's not just Pliny, in other places as well. Conchilium is clearly purple, and it's brought down that this is a purple shellfish. To say because in one place you found Conchilium means blue, to say, oh, it means blue over here. This is what they do in these farms, which is, this is their best proof they have. So you could say it's blue purple, but it's still very, sh- you could say that, but it's still a, yeah, you could say that, but it's still a sharp shot, because why did he call it blue? But yeah, I mean, you could say blue is purple, I guess. Yeah. No, no, no. Weird, by the heliotrope? Yeah. Like I said, he made a mistake. He was misquoting someone. It was really, when he wrote the heliotrope is blue, they, the, if you look, when he said the Murex is like a heliotrope, so that was a, it's a purple color. He's trying to explain three different types of purple. So the heliotrope is a different, I don't know exact shade, you have to check the heliotrope and the, and the mallow. You can Google heliotrope, and then Google mallow. In the purple itself, there are different shades. There are different types of purple. It's a little lighter, or a little bluish. I mean, you could say that his heliotrope is a little more bluish. That's possibly like, put him, the pure blue, which we're looking for. They're trying to say, you know, indigo blue, the same color as, as color elon, which, is, which dyes a natural blue. It's not a proof. It's not enough of a proof. They have a good point. They have a good cash of a plenteous. So say it's to give a share clearly, but just, please don't 
go and just, you know, be mahap of all the historical records because the Akasha, that's not the way it works, especially if these guys have no experience in history. In other words, there are professionals, they study plenty, they do it for, for a living, they know exactly how these things work. That's not the way you do things. You have 15 proofs that helium, that, that, that conchilium is purple because you found one place in Yehopitz where you said it can make a shovim, but that's not a shovim from us. That's not the way it works. Fine. Next. Next proof they had. Um, this was their best, I said this for this is their best proof. You know, an I cigarette. He does say heliotrope is blue and he does say, well, here's what I'm saying. It's not like that crazy, 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 but it's not a proof that they died blue at all. Next. The next proof is the, the guy called Vitruvius, another Roman guy. So he had, he writes, he's describing the, the 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 murex and he says it dies many different shades it dies brown and he says another word called levidium now levidium could mean blue so they say you see from here clearly that the murex dies blue raya brute which sounds amazing for anybody reading it but if you actually open up a vitruvius he has a chapter on blue dyes and a chapter on purple dyes in the chapter on blue dyes he does not mention a jack diddly squat about any murex dying blue in his chapter on purple dyes he mentions Various different shades. Like I said, brown is one of them, and lavinium is another of them. Now, the murex, from what I know, never ever died brown. There's no record of a murex dying brown. So, the way the translations explain it, it's a brownish, something, brownish shade. So, lavinium, I checked, I checked the, the, the two um, translations online, it means either a bluish shade, or lavinium has, in other words, like you said, bluish purple, which is probably, I'm not arguing, it could be bluish purple. Or another translation, Levinium could also mean gray. It could mean like a grayish purple. I don't know how that works. But the fact that it's in the chapter, this is where you have to look at the context. It's in a chapter on purple. The name of the chapter is purple. And he's describing the purple thing. And he says it's brown, which is not brown. So when he says Levinium, again, it's not, he's not referring to the, the pure blue indigo color of blue. That's not the way he's doing it. His initial saying, Chilas is purple, is blue. That's a very good question. Maybe we'll discuss that later. But right now, we're going with the assumption. I'm trying to go through with their theory. They, they, they go with the theory that it's clear blue. They go that it's clear blue. And they have riots from Chazal. And it was the main reason, I guess was, once you ask that, I'll answer. The main proof that Chalas is clear blue, there's a few proofs I'll say it now, fine, is Chazal compared to Kala Ilan. Kala Ilan dies naturally. The natural color is plain blue. And Chazal say it's similar. So, so they, there are two reasons. Now, say that many academics actually are of the opinion that Chalas is purple is blue. Because like we're going to... Yeah, you mandal you from rebel could because the main reason is because like with the murex the sunsi does not die blue. Yeah, it's dark blue. That's not called purple blue. That's called that's, no, that's indigo blue. That's the same color as indigo. That's not and the murex now, like there's no evidence at all that the murex ever died indigo blue or died purple. That's why many people actually are of, academics are of the opinion that the murex is purple blue. Now the other cash will be let's say Hazal say between chelus lekarti between um blue and chelus and green. So chelus is purple. They should have possibly said something else in the middle. I mean, you get out a lot of that. The other proof would be the Gemara says Daimel Yam, Daimel So it's it's the color of the sea, the color of the things. But you get out of that. They say the warming. global warming. No, you could say that the Rakia during during Shkia. There's a there's a Mashmoyes Rashi quote. Shemayish Adarshni actually, I think he says such a lotion. So yeah, the, the idea that tails is purple is is um is a possibility, but um but I'm trying to say there's no proof that this is a tails because Maybe Chalas is actually blue. And then the reason why Chazal never mentioned... And like I said, what was the proof we're coming from? The proof was, why didn't Chazal say, don't use this? Try this simple answer. Maybe Chalas is blue. And they didn't mention not to use it because this is purple. And I'm not coming to disprove. I'm not here to disprove it. I'm trying to, to... That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to say, is there a proof or even like a high level of probability? So, I mean, it's very, very easy to say that Chalas is actually blue and had it a different Chalas which is blue. And Chazal never mentioned this because this was purple. Okay, so now, like we said, Vitruvius is no proof at all that the, it died blue because it's clear from the context that he's referring to a shade of purple. That's what's called opening up, open the book. And it's very important. You read the Levosha Aaron, open up anything he says, nothing there, everything is misquoted. These things, they misquote everything. Levosha Aaron, this is a very interesting safer. The reason I'm, he, what do you say? His name is Rabbi Mayor Hellman, a wonderful person. I'm not, I'm not sure if he did it on purpose. Uh-huh. Hellman. Now, actually, let's just go through the Shtalshalus, you know, how exactly it happened. There was a Sefer Lulis Tcheles. He mentions all these conspiracy theories. He was the first guy to mention it. But he mentions it more as a possibility. In other words, I'm not so upset at him. Because he didn't say, like, as if it's a fact, you know, Kakilium is blue. He mentions, if I'm not mistaken, he mentions more like, could be it's blue. You could say a theory. 
Now, the Lusha Aaron, when he mentions it, he quotes the Lulus Tlelis. Now, he mentions it much more. He also doesn't say it's a fact, but he basically tries to make it, he's trying to, give it, to fool people. Now, if you read through the lines, you realize, I'll tell you, I didn't really say it's a fact. I said a possibility. But that's not the idea. The fact, the, the my cigarette, anybody reading it, most people, they take it, they look at it as if it, they get it at face value. So that's why it's not. Now, after him came these other swarm, let's say, such as Chazim Shalzov, these Chazim don't even speak English. So they already just assumed for a fact that the militia aren't is right. So they quote it as if it's a fact. So that's basically what happened. You got Lewis Taylor to start with these conspiracy theories. You know, great, you should go on Alex Jones' show. You know, I have nothing against conspiracy theories, like I said. It's just you have to say it as, as a conspiracy theory. Don't report it as fact. So he would be great Alex Jones material. He got the militia aren't. He, he, he requotes him and he tries to package it as if it's a fact, but he still sticks in the shyness that maybe possibility. So in case you come to him, why are you lying? I didn't lie. I didn't say for sure. I said maybe. Now you got these other people. They're writing these Israelis. They don't speak a, jack, a word of English. And they come and say it's a fact. In other words, you'll hear a shiurim from Pasha of Rabbanim will say, anybody that thinks that this is not the Chalas doesn't Pasha doesn't know how to read because it's brought down that it was dyed blue in the old days. So dyed blue, of course. In other words, everyone just thinks it's a fact that it dyed blue based on these conspiracy theories from the Lulus Chalas from Rabbi Title Man. That's what happens. That's what we're here to fix. Don't conspiracy. You, if you want to say a theory, say it as a conspiracy theory. Don't go on and you know publicize garbage to the whole world as if you're saying fact, and it's not a fact. Any other proofs? Okay. Now they have another proof that this clown named um, Ephephenus, Ephephenus, I don't know what he was, some kind of uh, also a galach. He talks about the Evan Hashoyam, Evan Hasapir. I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, we'll say this. One, we'll say this one on the series number.